Welcome back to Buck Rogers, everyone. Hope you're enjoying this 421 Thursday where I am bringing you the Buck Rogers episodes one after another. I am your host, the Game Hoarder. Let's keep it going. All right, so we are, uh, let me bring up my map here. We are going to be heading to Aurora. I believe oh no we're gonna go to we, we're gonna go to the Thule prison to uh, rescue uh, a top neo agent that's being held there that was next on the agenda um, so let's go port double check our cost refill tanks are full okay Okay, okay. What about ammo? It looks full to me. Because I keep running from ships. But that's okay. We have quests to do. We're, we're going to try to beat this game soon. Alright, so we're at Mars. I think it was dead ahead. Yes. Huh. There's just a port here. Should be a prison. Maybe we haven't found out about that. I don't know. That was a while ago after we left Talon's ship. I thought we got some kind of distress symbol, distress sim signal about the agent being here. Of course, I'm going off of what I'm finding online, so I could be wrong. Okay, we'll either skip that or save it for later. Rocket is looking good. Whoa! Let's head to, let's see, what else can we do? Ceres? Yeah, let's go to Ceres. No, don't go to DOS, go to Ceres. We went to the asteroid base here, which was that huge base, I believe, that was going off of the map. Let's buy a drink. Two drunken ram officers are commiserating. One comments, I've never thought that space rat Justin Robino would lose us on Ceres. At least security has a little line on him. Says he managed to catch a fast transport to Fortuna. Their conversation shifts to less interesting topics. That's all we needed to know. Now we're going to head to Fortuna. Which should be... This little asteroid belt here. This is Vesta. You're at the spaceport at Fortuna. Okay, well, first things first. Fuel up. I don't think we've been here, but I heard I heard through the grapevine that the, the shops are decent here. I don't know. Let's go look. That shop sucks balls.
Okay, shops are not good here. I always carry at least three needle guns, boast a mercenary. Well, you're a smart man. Acid frogs attack anything that moves, you're told. This is the only pub. This is where he's supposed to be. I'm hitting wait and it doesn't do anything to the time. If you notice that. I don't know. Maybe there's somewhere else we have to go first, but they straight up said go to Fortuna. As you enter, you're sh maybe he's in the restaurant. You're shoved aside by several burly ram wearers. They head towards a back table where a technician is idly stirring a hot chocolate. One warrior turns and snarls, back away. His hand twitches toward his weapon. The technician looks up and then dives under the table. The warriors draw their weapons and prepare to fire. We're not getting, this must be the guy. He wasn't at the bar. This guide is wrong. Damn you, Mike's RPG Center. These guys would like to smoke. They've been hanging out on 420 too much. Yeah, you know I'm taking that, <laughs> you know, I'm grabbing that body armor. Those guys shooting those rocket pistols at us, that's why they're missing a lot is because we have that ECM package. I'm Justin Robino. You must be from Mio. I have something uh, you need. I couldn't smuggle it out of Pavonis, so we should retrieve it from the library there. Robino joined your party. Pavonis, eh? That's, uh, that's at Mars. No, I'm good. Justin rummages through the shelves and produces a prototype. Suddenly, Ram forces rush into the room. One man steps forward. We knew if the left of the prototype is bait, we could collect Neo spies as well. Justin dies for cover, protecting the device. You draw your weapons. All right, we got three there, two there, two there, three there. Okay, well, these guys are easy, but there's a bunch of them, so. Oh, damn, missed with the needle gun. That That's a rarity.
Get away from my midget. No one fucks with my Oompa Loompas. You're gonna die for that. I think it's over now. Give me your body armor. It probably looks pretty weird as my party undresses these guys, takes their clothes and their armor and then leaves the rest of the shit equipped on them. So they're like basically naked or whatever rags they have underneath the armor. But they're still wearing their goggles, holding their weapons. It's definitely a little shady. Justin holds up the undamaged device. Let's get the fuck out of here before more troops show up. You head for your ship, but meet other forces waiting in the boarding tube. This shit's over. Are you really gonna... You guys gonna ignore the guy right there? I was gonna sell this heavy armor, so I hope we can land back down and uh, get rid of stuff. By the way, if I miss a heavy armor, I don't need you to fucking point that out. You saw how much money I have. Chill your titties. You escape into space. Oh, shit. I hope my ship is up to the uh, task here. Ram and Akana too. Fuck it. Look, like we're gonna we're gonna target weapons.
Trying to take the control out. Nailed the hole that time. I'm just going to blow this fucker up. See ya. You escape. Neo-technicians rush up to collect the device. Commander Turbian arrives. Good work! This represents vital information. Now please continue investigating the Doomsday device and eat more chicken! He shakes your hand and leaves. You gain experience, but not enough to fucking level. We must be like... I don't know. Slowing it down at this point. They don't want us to hit level 8. But hey, we are where we want to be because we can repair for free. We can fuel for free. Ammo, free. Medical supplies, free. It's all fucking free. Hugh Doss has assimilated all of the data and located the Doomsday weapon. It is at Mariposa 3 and Mercury. You must destroy the laser before they can use it. Meanwhile, use our training facilities. Any more chicken? I got a lot of fucking money. There's no bank here in Earth. They're all blown up. Or robbed or some shit. Alright. Another side quest completed. Let's see what else we can do. We still have that quest to go uh, rescue our friend. The, our desert runner friend. But. Let's go to Hygieia. See what kind of trouble we can get to there. Hygieia should be right behind us. Well, let's see. No, it's always best to count from... Where the fuck is Sirius? Yeah, Sirius is here. I think that's Thule. 
could be totally wrong though. Mars is here, Earth is here. Uh, man, I am fucking backwards. Let's see. Okay, this is, I think this is Vesta, this is Thule, Aurora. This might be Hygieia here. Alice. I'm way the fuck off. I need some free fuel. All right, there's Thule. So Thule, there's Ceres. So that's Hygieia there, shit. Dude, fuck off. I'm so glad they let you flee that shit. All right, so this should be Hygieia. I need that free fuel. Scott Dot Doss says getting an echo off a small asteroid nearby. I think some is someone is monitoring Neo communications. Perhaps we should investigate. Go to the comm center. Intruder alert. As you enter, a well, big rocket launching robot decides to say, fuck you, you are in my place. You are in my personal space. With his negative four armor. Yeah, you don't want him attacking more than once. Alarms continue to blare. Save on B here. Man, I fucking hate it when you can't see the map. This room is full of backup communication equipment and stuff that I'm not allowed to talk about. I hate it when it zooms through the text. This is the only rocket you would be shooting, sir. Have a good evening. And if we had to fight two of those, we'd be in trouble. You smash the backup equipment.
You start with the base commander. He retreats and leaves all of his people behind. Yes, let's definitely take him out first. Alright, I'm just going to quick combat. This shit's over. Rocket pistols don't work. Looks like they're switching to mono knives because they know the fucking rocket pistols aren't going to work with our armor. You know what I want? Oh shit, I forgot to sell that stuff on Earth. Fuck it. I don't think this quest is going to be too long. Little medic is tough. You smash the equipment in this secondary communications room. Use the control panel to contact Mew and update them about this base. They congratulate you and begin to review past communications for security leaks. When your transmission is complete, you smash the panel. And you tell everyone to suck it. The commander hastens through another door. and This fucking asshole robot rocket launcher fucker comes to attack you. And you're like, fuck. Fuck my life. I hate this thing. You know you want to shoot yourself with it. You know you're not going to have a chance to, though. I apologize. You smash more fucking equipment. You're smashing this place up. Commander flees into yet another room. No guards are apparent. You destroy the equipment in this room and laugh. The commander summons the last of his guards, a small group of technicians. You laugh and say, what the fuck? Are you serious? The commander tries to shield himself behind the last of his communication equipment. You annihilate him and the equipment in a barrage of fire. Yeah, and that's it. Sand squids are being drained. That's fucking cute. Sand squids are fucked, buddy. Oh, you got that shitty poison. Well, that could fuck our day up good.
Sand squids, <laughs> duh, they're immune to heat. Think about it. On stock finally leveled here. Carry this armor. Congratulations. Cash of hidden equipment. It's all for you, Trog. Sure. Because I'm going to go back to Earth. <laughs> and I'm going to get all that shit back for free. And we're going to sell all our heavy body armor here, which will only take a moment. I know you guys are in love with me fucking selling shit. And we're going to train Mr. Ronstock there. Finally hit level 7. Or 250, but we'll take a thousand extra credits any day. And let's go ahead and top everyone off. I know, I know. I'm busy doing cool shit. All right, I'm going to pause the camera and try to get Roundstock as close to his max hit points as possible. BRB. Oh, and it looks like he is going to be level 8, not 7. I think we're looking at trying to get 83 here. So this is the first time I'm trying to do it. Um... I feel like we should be good enough at a rocket by now here. And I guess we'll just be even better. That's that max. Repair electric coal's got to be at 25, or no, 30. Mechanical's got to be at 25. Oh, 
wait, I think 63 was what he was wanting. I got to double check. Let me look. So 63. It was 63 that is max. So I'll just take that. That was the first try. Fuck it. We'll take 62. I think he gets eight hit points a level. And we'll save on J as a backup. And fuck it, we'll save on B and C because we're rocking. We're rocking. I think we're going to go do uh, the rendezvous quest here. And then maybe in the next video we'll uh, go to Mercury and fuck shit up. I don't know where the, the prison mission or how to get the prison mission going. It, apparently you're supposed to get it after you leave um, Ty, uh, Talon ship. Uh, but when we went to Thule, there was no prison there, so I don't know. I don't know. If you guys know, let me know. You can still play the game after you beat it. So, there's that. But I'm probably going to start, uh, the second Buck Rogers right away. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, so now we're going to want to head to Juno. All right, let's see. Juno should be the direct opposite of Ceres. No, that'll be... That might be Juno there. No, that's Psyche. Psyche? So maybe th that's Juno, or that's Juno. Juno, rendezvous point. You arrive at the rendezvous. Ram has a reception committee waiting for you. Of course they do. Oh, shit. No, you weren't supposed to do that at all. I mean, zero fucks given on that guy's behalf. He's just like, <laughs> I'm gonna blow myself up. Well, I can't mu can't do fucking much of shit with our uh, our guy stunned here. Pretty impertinent we keep Clog alive at this point. 
or conscious rather. Clog is fucked up. A voice echoes through the tunnels. I am Commander Gilbert. You are as formidable as your report indicates. You have now met your match. Oh, Jesus. Well, we might want to reload in that case. And keep our guys alive. Probably. Probably better off. Uh, wait a minute. What the fuck happened? Oh, no. Is the rendezvous point gone now? That's not good. I think if you fly and then you don't go to the rendezvous point, it goes away. Which is fucking stupid. I'm going to have to go to a different save game, I guess. It's really fucking dumb. Alright, we got to play without our uh, GBC activated for now. What the fuck was that? Of course they're going to let him go right away. Well, we're fucked. We didn't get initiative. Looks like we'll be reloading again. I don't want him shooting his fucking rocket again at all. Ah. I don't know if that's going to make him comatose. We definitely got to have both of our medics alive for this shit.
And I can't tell because I don't have the fucking gold box editor. Loaded because it's not finding, it doesn't see the save game. It says teammate is dying. Which is fucking stupid because I have a first aid guy here. All right, good. They got him up. I'm so pissed off. I don't even want the armor. All right, let's get our gold box editor up here. Let's save on B because A is off of this, and this is supposed to be the hard. This is the hardest side mission for sure. All right, so we got to look for Commander Gilbert and Atha, who is our desert ape friend. Apparently she is either in the northwest, southwest, or southeast rooms, but we have to defeat... We have to defeat uh, everybody in the other rooms first. You catch up with the snipers. From behind, more enemy appear. That mission's over. So I'm going to try this a couple more times and then I'm going to say fuck it. And we're going to go to my, my other save and we're just going to go do Mercury. So if I don't make any progress here in the next 10 minutes, then uh, Desert Ape is not getting rescued. This seems like this could be a mission for after you've grinded a bit more. All things getting warmer. I mean, this is fucking intense, dude. I don't have my movement here. What the fuck? There's four of these things? <laughs> yeah, this isn't happening. This is like uh, the extra boat quest at the end of uh, the ridiculously hard dungeon level at the end of uh, Dark Queen of Kryn or whatever. Or Death Knight of Kryn. Or whatever the fuck it is. I don't know. The last goddamn gold box game I played. Who gives a fuck? And I'm fucking up and Just fucking around now. 
My two medics are comatose. And I keep accidentally hitting end instead of moving my guys. Which is not helping. It looks like they only get their initial blast, but that's two plasma throwers and two grenade launchers. It's enough to take out both medics. No, they get to reload. But no one is going to get to heal. And we can't get back to the ship because apparently we got to take over a control system. Just fucking go. Lug Lug versus the machine. He didn't even waste a rocket because there was only one guy. You got this, Lug Lug. Never mind, you don't. All right, I think it's time for Mercury. <laughs> Guess we can try it again here. That other battle, we definitely need to be, we'd have to be full health for sure, but beyond that, we'd have to have our medics out of the way. If we can kill one? The size of the fucking plasma is ridiculous. Maybe if we can get this other one to shoot over here. Why are you only getting one, one fucking needle gun off? It's fucking ridiculous, dude. Oh, you fucking cocksucking fuck nugget.
And if only we could have kept the other medic up, we'd be in a lot better position here. It's only unconscious, which is good. All right, made it through that battle. Heavy body armor. I'm actually not going to fuck with any of that unless it's really good stuff because I don't want anything to slow us down. I want to have all my movement points, basically. And I don't really care about money at this point. The commander's sweet voice purrs. So much effort to rescue a primitive. That is why Ram shall prove victorious. Trying to split up the force, so... They don't try to rocket launch them. They fucking did it anyways. Y'all's movement fucking sucks dick, man.
All right, that's one room down. I still don't know how the fuck we're going to take on those four guys. That doesn't seem possible. A horde of rabid desert apes is driven forward by a robot. We might be able to heal better off of this. Let's see what happens. We're trying to get our health up. And if we can get out of any easier battles, then more power to us. Oh! Never mind, there's that asshole. I mean, you're stuck there, dude. Because your zero G is bullshit. Yeah, I didn't think. Anything from the desert? Immune to heat. I'll just stuck there. Yeah, sure. Switch back to the heat gun, you idiot. Guess the AI doesn't know any better. Fucking retard, man. Present from the homeland, your primitive is not here. Was Clot better off before? I don't know. Mine explodes. Combat genies attack. And I think we need to be a little bit stronger for this area. Board more ships, grind some more. Maybe do it after we 
beat the game. You know, you know that's not going to happen. Well, this doesn't seem too bad if I can keep everyone alive. Let's see what happens after this mission. Gonna spread my guys out because it keeps them from doing their fucking stun grenade bullshit. Not normally what I'd recommend doing, but if you're stunned, you're really fucked. Ugh. I need to get my medics to where they're not being shot at. God damn it, motherfucker. Leave them alone. we go got some health back i guess we'll i guess we'll keep going at this uh keep saving on b and d though you are persistent and getting warmer and amused voice laughs we'll see you next video we'll see how this goes